Welcome to my CD collection. Today, the letter C. Okay, so we start with this one, which is the Crusaders. This is a nice album with tracks that you know, like Street Life. But what is interesting on this album, that it is not the Crusaders, but it is in collaboration with a lot of singers like you have Focus, Randy Crawford, Joe Cocker, B.B. King, Bobby Womack, Tina Turner. So the interesting thing from this CD is that it is The Crusaders but sung with a lot of guests. Next one is Cock Robin, named Cock Robin. And Thought You Were On My Side is one of the songs that I like on here. And I love the, the, this is from a long time ago, but I love the video clip from this one. Very nice uh, CD, nice music, I like this. Next one up is Cat Power, the covers record. So here you can see that it is all kind of covers that she does. I can get no satisfaction, troubled waters, wild is the wind, all things that she does with her nice hoarse voice um, that I like very much. This is a little bit slower music. I love it. This is Chris Jones. This is interesting because I found this a long time ago in a thrift store for just a few bucks. But this is interesting because this is from a very audiophile label which is called Stockfish. And they make great recordings and something like No Sanctuary Here, one of the songs on here. If you have ever been to a audiophile hi-fi show, I'm sure you have heard that song. Moving on to Cowboy Junkies, the Trinity session. Interesting from this recording is that it was done with one DAT, D-A-T, tape recorder and just one microphone, everybody sitting around. Um, and it captures the atmosphere of that moment very well. Very nice album. Moving on to the Communards. I believe this was their first album. And of course, Don't Leave Me This Way is one of the songs that you know from there, giving you a lot of energy. This is nice music. Moving on, the shocking Miss Caro Emerald. She is Dutch and she has made a few albums and this is probably the category electro swing so a lot of influences from the swing period but also with very modern a dj and stuff like that very interesting stuff give it a go here we go the best of cannonball adderley the capital years um, something like this, Mercy, 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 is a wonderful song. Some, that's one of the uh, songs of this album that I like the most. This is one that you may not think would be in this collection. Um, Christina Aguilera, Back to Basics. Now this is a two CD edition. They look very nice. Now the first disc is very much like how you know Christina Aguilera and the second disc is much more like swing, um, 40s, something like that music. So these are two different discs. I don't mind so much about the first disc, but the second disc and especially a song like Candyman. I like that one very much. Chad Atkins, a famous guitar player, and one of the reasons I picked up this one was because of Do I Ever Cross Your Mind, which is a beautiful song in itself, and he's playing it here with Dolly Parton. You hear them both left and right very clearly playing their own songs, and you can hear that the atmosphere between these two people is very good. I like this recording, and especially that song. So here we go. Cassandra Wilson, 
New Moon Daughter. This is one of those CDs from the period that I was buying uh, some more of the audiophile um, CDs because they were audiophile. Now I never pay full price, always when I had some money from a birthday or there was a good offer. But um, this is slow music, a little bit dark music, beautiful recording and probably if you want to show your system some bass, this might be a nice CD to do so, Cindy Lauper through colors. This needs now um, introduction through colors. This is just something I like to play every now and then. Christy Life. This is Christy Moore, Life at the Point. I have this on vinyl also and I must say the sound quality on vinyl is much better than the sound quality on the CD. But this is a live recording. The atmosphere, the joy with which the people play these wonderful songs. Um, something like, uh, where are you? Black is the color is a wonderful number on this uh, CD. This is a, a great live CD. Those, this is one of those CDs that you need to listen all the way through. Not just one number, but to get really into the, into the flow of the uh, performance and here we have the Chris Barber's jazz band called The Entertainer 20s 30s music and this is a all white uh, band which in the early period of jazz there was of course uh, black people playing jazz and white people playing jazz I call it black jazz and white jazz because well with segregation and stuff like that you were not always allowed to listen to black music when you're white or maybe the other way around I don't, I'm not for sure about that one um, so I call this white jazz it does not really have the the flow of, of what what, um, what black jazz had but I like this kind of music very much into the 20s 30s 40s kind of music Something else, another Cannonball Adderley, Miles Davis, Art Blakey. Well, this is a group of people who know how to play um, jazz. And this is just something that, this is jazz. Put it on, listen to it. And of course, the wonderful Count Basie. This is just a legendary hit compilation. Not too interesting in sound quality, but again, in that period of music, I like it very much. Another one from that period is, of course, Cap Calloway, um, including, can you read that? Kicking the gong around, is that what it says? Mini the Moocher, Stormy Weather. I like this. Every now and then when I need to feel happy, I play this. This is great music and Cap Calloway, of course, was a great performer. Here we have some Chad Baker, Blue Note, something I found for cheap in a thrift store. Not too much into Chad Baker, but every now and then this is very nice to just put on and enjoy. Another Cap Callaway. This sound quality actually is pretty good considering how old the music is. Um, and this is one of my more favorite Cap Calloway CDs with some live performances. This is very nice. Going on to Charlie Parker, uh, plays standards. He can become maybe playing a little bit too difficult jazz for me, but for the standards, it's nice to have also some Charlie Parker in the house. Now this is something from a radio station from Columbia uh, Records. That's why it's with the C for Columbia Records. It's a compilation, compilation which is called Radio Hour Volume 1. Here are some amazing songs, very direct. During the Radio Hour played live with some wonderful performances and great sound quality. Chris Ria, Auberge, 
this is some of his older stuff not the the really his voice sounds a little bit higher than what we learned from him in in later years um, not sure how i feel about it but well when you find those things for just a few bucks i'll take them with me this a saxophone lady candy dover this is called sexuality and you may not know her she is dutch but she did some uh, stuff with prince back in the days and there's some numbers on here that, that i like but i don't play this one very often some more count basie apparently this is the best of early um basie so this is even older numbers but things like jumping at the woodside is probably one of those songs no it doesn't matter who plays it but this is a very energetic uh, song here we have some more cannonball adderley a live performance very nice recording if you want to find out something about cannonball adderley this might be one of the ones to start with so these are the ones that i have in the jewel cases for the c and as always i have some that are in these cardboard containers so some more count basie and this is something you might or might not know about this is carla bruni she is french and this first album calcum madi is very nice i like the songs on here i like her the tone of her voice um this is a very nice edition even with a dvd in there a nice booklet um and the cd she moved on to become the wife of the french a french president and this first album from her is very good well i like it very much she brought out a few more um albums and it never reached the quality of the first album if you ask me but as you can see for 150 i'll pick it up and this was one after i had um, the first album of her a friend of mine i wanted to give him a cd to thank him for something and i thought well i'll pick up her second album and he didn't like it so he gave it back to me well i said okay give it back to me and we'll find you one that you do like so this is how i ended up with the uh, this one it's a very nice edition it looks very nice she was of course a photo model also before all that with the president um i like her voice but i actually as far as music goes only her first album okay and this is one of my favorites if we look at the c club de belugas uh, called swap this album and this is an album that i just have to say you need to check out this album i hope you will like it but i think there are a lot of people who do not know this band this cd and they are missing out because this is really a very nice addition. It is okay as far as recording quality goes, but as far as the music goes, I love Club des Belugas. And with Club des Belugas, we end the letter C. So thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.